we doing some stuff. I don't even know what we doing. We just kind of cruising around uh, the South. We started in Fayetteville for like two, three days. We went to Atlanta for like two, three days. Shooting just different parts of the city, different people, different neighborhoods. People let me inside their house. They don't even know me. I'm sitting on their couch watching football, talking to them, and just getting stories. Like, this lady we just in Baton Rouge today. On my way over here, we stopped because the sun was looking real good. And we hopped out the car real quick to try to get it uh, before it went down. And then this lady was working in a little office building behind us. And it was closed, wasn't nobody there. She said, I'm going to my next job. I was like, damn, your next job? She said, yeah. She's like, I got three. She's like, I'm going to my, my, you know, I'm going to my next one right now, though. So I just like, I go talk to her for a second. You know, I'm like asking if she got kids. She's like, I got grandkids. She 52. I was like, black really don't crack because she don't look, she don't, you know, she, look, she didn't even look like she had grandkids. So, um, I'm just looking at this lady, just asking her about her life, you know, how old are her, are her grandkids. She tell me how many kids she got, and then she tells me she got a son that rapped. He was 19, and then he, he passed away. I didn't want to get too much in her business, but I couldn't help, you know, I'm just out here talking to people. And she told me, she was like, he was 19 years old, his best friend had a gun. They start uh, arguing over the gun and like wrestling over the gun or something, and, and he got killed like that. So I'm already like, that's already, a tragedy I can't relate to. And I'm looking at this lady, she, she's strong, she's beautiful, she glowing, her spirit is bright, and she done went through a tragedy like that. I'm like, okay, that's amazing, first of all. You know what I mean? Um, and then we keep talking, and then she tell me she had a daughter that was 14 that got murdered. She, she didn't say it like it didn't mean nothing, but I didn't see no type of like bitterness, anger in this woman. And I'm just asking this lady like, you telling me all of this, which is two tragedies I can't relate to. I can't relate to nothing on that scale that you had to go through as a mother to lose two kids. So I'm like, how do you stay positive? Because when I see you, you beaming, you glowing. You, you know, you got such a positive spirit. And she just said, I feel like God sent me here for a purpose. So everything happened for a reason. She was like, all I could do is just look forward. Life goes on. Boom, she hit me with God right off the bat. And all of that to say, God ended up putting me right here. I didn't know I was coming here today. I didn't know we was going to do all of that. So I look at that as a blessing. And therefore, I look at y'all as a blessing. I love looking at y'all right now, talking to y'all. So thank y'all very much for having me here. And uh, I, I look forward to coming back.